I'm here with David Apiku from the biology department and I'd like to ask you what is your advice to students on how best to prepare for exams? Okay, for biology which I teach my main advice would be to focus on what you know because the only reason why you may fail biology is not because of what you don't know but it's not making the most of what you know. So in exams, don't panic when you see questions that you are not aware of because it's an exam. You're not expected to see things that you are very familiar with. But what we forget is that every subject is based on principles. Now chemistry and physics would easily agree that chemistry and physics are based on key principles and you can apply those key principles in any context. But when it comes to biology, there's that erroneous um, idea that you could simply memorize everything and get through it. And that is the worst way of preparing. So what are the key principles? Cells, membranes, osmosis, diffusion, Biological molecules as carbohydrates, proteins, and um, lipids, DNA, mitosis, um, natural selection, obviously, um, surface area to volume ratio, we know that, and division of labor, cells working together. And actually, those are the principles that biology is based on. Every question will be based on these principles. So don't spend time reading and reading about things that don't make sense to you. If it doesn't make sense to you, it simply means that your fundamentals are weak. So go back and learn these fundamentals. You can never avoid these things. And so if you know these fundamentals, I don't care what question they are going to come up with, you will be ready and you have all the skills to be able to deal with it. So work on the basics and you'll be fine. Raj Chana from the chemistry department. I'd like to ask you what your best advice is for students in preparing for their exams? In preparing for the exams is really you've done your revision, you've done your revision, you have, you've learnt the material, exam technique is a very important thing. Um, what I can say is probably the most, one of the most efficient ways would be to rehearse the experience that you're going to have during the exam. Practice past exam papers under strict exam conditions and what a mistake I find people, students make is they mark it immediately. I would recommend marking it on the next day. You see when you mark it on the next day you're using a higher order of thinking and assimilating and evaluating and when you mark it is a greater learning experience. Now if you, if you could repeat this process again and again and track your progress, your results, your percentages it's guaranteed to go up. I've seen very normal students with very, you know, very sort of moderate GCSE results who've scored the highest results by following this method. This is not something that I'm proposing, this is something I've witnessed and I'm sharing with you. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of students who've used this method and they can get the highest grades possible. So it's a very simple thing. One thing to add, when you're doing the past papers, you should not leave any question blank you should have an attempt on it. Even if, you, even if you're not sure at all what the answer is, still have an attempt. Because that attempt, that, that making the mistake, you will learn from it. Thank you. So I'm here with Parag Bavsar from the biology department. And I'd like to ask you, what, what is your most important advice to students in preparing for their exams? Okay, my advice would be to is, is one thing is very small is any revision has to be accompanied by self-testing so if you've gone over something it's not you won't know that it's worked or sunk in unless you test yourself somehow on what you've just revised so either covering the page and just going over the main points in your head or looking up some short questions or some even some exam questions just to check that what you've read over is actually sinking in so any revision, follow it up with a way to test yourself on what you've revised. Good luck. I'm Daniel Wilson from Physics. My advice for exam preparation 
is to study consistently. That's really the most important thing, that you embed your understanding and your ability to apply that understanding to problems is into your long-term memory. If it's not there, then you'll be less able to draw on it when you're under the pressure of an exam. So study consistently, work in the long term. Don't wait for a couple of days before your exam because you're going to have some exams one day after the other or a couple of days between if you're lucky. And if you haven't been studying in the long term on the run up to that exam period, then you're going to find that you won't be able to draw on that knowledge from your long term memory. Secondly, take a diverse approach, do lots of different activities so that you don't get bogged down by doing the same thing over and over again, but break it up, do lots of different things. Exam questions are great. It's good to be able to understand how examiners will apply ideas from physics into a question so that you can know how to tackle questions, but don't, get, don't just do that. Read from textbooks, uh, read from your notes, make new notes, do questions from worksheets, do a variety of different things so that you are getting a good breadth and depth to your knowledge and you'll better understand what's being asked of you in an exam question. So be consistent and do a diverse range of tasks and activities. This is Alan Banwell from the Chemistry Department and I'd like to ask you what your advice to students is in preparing for their exams. My advice would be to try and do as many, many past papers as you possibly can and check everything with the mark scheme. Uh, you learn from your mistakes. You don't learn from what you get right. You learn from what you got wrong. Check the mark scheme. If that makes sense, move on. If it doesn't, seek help from a teacher. And as I said, do as many as you possibly can and don't waste time. Time is precious. This is Dr. Azam, Head of Science. And could you give us your succinct advice for students preparing for their exams? Preparation of exams is like doing a job. Um, an exam day, as far as I'm concerned, is no more than going in to claim your paycheck, um, and that's it. I'm now speaking to Sarah Casey from the Biology Department. What advice would you give to students in preparing for their exams? I think it's very important that you work with past papers, that you look at exam questions, um, and you could use the mark schemes as well. The other thing is it's important to break up the work that you're doing so do not attempt to work for three hours solidly that last hour will be a waste of time work for 20 minutes have a five minute break and then try a different activity work for another 20 minutes have a break and continue like that remember as students a minute a mark i'm here with benedict nortley from the chemistry department what advice do you give to students in preparing for their exams well um exams is basically um, a speed and accuracy thing. You are going to try and achieve the maximum correct answers within a specified you know, length of time. And I advise that you start with things that you can actually do, the questions that you are good at. Spend more time in, in, in doing that to, to buy time for the ones that are more challenging. So that's my very simple advice to you.